Hey everyone, I'm back today with another project pan update. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm in a different setting today. And I don't remember how much I've actually updated you guys on everything that's been going on or will be going on because frankly I didn't know what was going to be happening. But I graduated from my grad school program in December and I was looking for a job. And basically I was going to go where the jobs were or whatever job was going to take me. So right now I'm back in New York City. It was a very on the whim kind of thing. I got a couple of calls for interviews and so I flew out here with not that much notice. I brought very little stuff with me. I did have a little bit of time to pre-film um, some of this Project Pan update because I didn't bring everything with me. Um, and some things I did bring, I did pour into smaller containers. But yeah, I just wanted to let you know that this video is a little bit like transitional and maybe some of the videos in the next couple of months might be transitional as well. Um, I'm just gonna get into my Project Pan update now. Um, I think it's kind of loud here, isn't it? I had actually 11 products because I thought I did a Project 10 pan. I might have realized this when I did the last video, but I really don't remember at this point. It's supposed to be a Project 10 pan, but I have 11 products and I brought nine of them with me. So I'll insert the video that I pre-filmed of the two other products, which I obviously haven't touched since I filmed it. And then I'll show you the little updates for the ones I did bring with me. I'm going to start out with this. This is the Alame Intense Eye Color um, Eyeliner in like purple amethyst. I have used this when I've gone out to do things with friends and stuff, but not to work because it's still like, it kind of smears all over my face. I actually tried using like tight lining with this and it was a disaster. Within like 20 minutes, it was all on my bottom lid. I'm not going to be doing that again. Hopefully I can still finish this this year, but I'm going to have to use it kind of sparingly just because I don't want to look a fool at work. This is the Bonnie Bell Lip Definer in Chutney. I haven't gotten around to using this since I've been here. Um, it just It's kind of a pain to bring it to work and then to like have to reapply, so I've been using something a little bit more handy. But I did use it prior to coming here and I sharpened it once. I think it's quite a bit shorter than it was in my last video. This is the YSL Touche Brillance uh, Lip Gloss. I'm wearing this today and like last time, I think I'm nearly at the end because it's getting a little bit harder to like, um, like pump it out. I'm pretty sure I'll be done with this by the end of the year, even if I just use it in videos, which I have been because it is really sparkly. This is my Marc, um, what is it called? Please Hold Eye Primer. This is a terrible product. It really doesn't hold very much. I typically only use it if I'm going out for a very short time. I've also been using it as, not a concealer, but as a, like, a product to sort of like um, to make my skin tone more consistent because sometimes I get redness around here so I'll apply this instead of concealer. It's got a very powdery finish um, but it does not hold things for long at all. I haven't, I don't think, used this since I've been here only once so I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this this year but I will try. Okay, this is from last year's project pan as well. This is L'Oreal Blush Delice in True Rose. I'm pretty much done with this. Um, I've just got the teeniest little bit left right there. I will definitely be done with this by the time I film the next video. In fact, I'll probably be done with this like in the next two weeks. Uh, this is the Maybelline Expert Eyes Eyeshadow Trio in Caddy Eyes. Um, I said in my previous video, which I will link down below, that my goal really is to just finish the white part. Um, I use it as like an inner corner highlight and a little bit under the eyes. Um, I don't want to use a black one at all. It's very glittery. And the purple one I will think about using, but I probably, it's not my goal at all to finish that one. So I'm just concentrating on this one right now, and I'm not using very much of it. I probably can use it every day. I'm still getting used to my routine. And the two products I did not bring with me are the Life Flow Rose Hip Seed Oil, which I will insert the video for now. This is me just trying to show how much of the product I have left. Wow. Doesn't really look that way, but there it is. And then uh, the Bumble and Bumble grooming cream, which I did not start on at all, so I did not bring it. I didn't check any bags, I just brought a carry on, which is why I had to decant some of the products into smaller bottles. This is the Garnier Fructis um, Sleek and Shine 
Moroccan oil or something, Moroccan something or another. I couldn't fit it into my little quart size bag, so I put it in this. I have just a little bit left um, in the other place. I'll probably go back at some point to get some more clothes and to pick up the rest of my beauty products that I left there, my shoes and all those good things. So at that point, I will reunite everything. Um, but I still have a good lot of this left even in here. So I'm sure I won't be done with this before I need to go back and pick up my old stuff. Um, I've only used it like three times or something. I got a new shampoo and conditioner after getting here. And my hair looks kind of different here with those products. So I haven't really needed to use this as much. But I use it a few times a week. This was the Bath & Body Works Travel Side Spray in London Tulips and Raspberry Tea. I was able to pour all of it in here. Filmed the video before I came here, it was up to here. That was the amount I had left total in the bottle, the original packaging. Uh, but since then, I've used half of that. So I should be done with this by the time I do my next update, if not sooner. And last but not least is this Garnier Anti-Dark Circle Eye Roller. I think that's what it's called. I'm holding it upside down as I usually do. Um, see, I made these marks on it, but I'm coming to find that Sharpie is not as permanent as they want you to think it is. Um, I've got two marks. I think this last second mark here is the one I made in my video that I filmed before I came here. I can't really tell in this lighting how much I have left now, but I think it's just a little bit under that last mark. Oh my gosh, New York City is so loud! So it should be just a little bit around here, which means uh, I use this much, which if you tip it upside down, would be like up to here if I had it right side up. Which I will do just... So it's probably around here. So that is my project pan and life update for now. As I said, I'm going to try to reunite all my products together in the next few months and um, I will definitely continue to film videos. I have an income now so hopefully I can get my hands on some of the things I've been wanting to try for a couple of years. And like I said a couple of videos ago, if you have any ideas or anything you really want to see, let me know down below and I will take it into consideration of course. Say hi down below or say hi um, on my social media accounts. Twitter, or Instagram. If you follow me and I don't follow you back, send me a, a reply or something or a message. Because I get like random people following me through my blog as well, like music PR people. So say hi and then I'll be like, oh, okay, they're actually a real person <laughs> and not just adding me to some mailing list or something. Okay, so that is about it. My next video will probably be one that I filmed um, back at the old place. I have a couple more at least. Um, so that's just to explain that and otherwise I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you soon from wherever. <laughs> Actually, at first I hated it because I was putting it in dry hair, but once I figured out that you're supposed to be putting it into damp hair, it's actually been working really well for me.